Okay, one more quick video. Eighteen. The slope first. So to find the equation of a line, we need a point and we need a slope. So we'll get the point when t equals two. Let's see, two cubed is eight times two is 16, four minus 16 should be negative 12 comma eight. And we need a slope. And to find this slope, we take two derivatives and divide them. The derivative of y with respect to t the derivative of x with respect to t. And we're plugging in t equals two, four times three is 12. Let's see, four, 24, four minus 24. I'm obviously doing this quickly in my head, so you can uh, you can tell me if I'm making any obvious errors, but I get a slope of negative three fifths. And y equals eight minus three fifths times x plus, oops, <laughs> x plus 12. Didn't mean to cross that out, but uh, problem 19 risks being kind of tedious. We're taking the nth derivatives evaluating them at pi, dividing by n factorial, and we'll be multiplying these Taylor coefficients by terms that look like that. So what I've done is I've started taking derivatives. The original function is the zeroth derivative, then the first, second, third, and so on. And I've plugged pi into these derivatives. And what makes this problem a little tedious is that it asked for the first four non-zero terms. And you see that a bunch of these terms are zero. So we had to go kind of far before we found four non-zero ones. So the first derivative over one factorial Uh, the first derivative is negative one, sorry. The first derivative over one factorial times x minus pi to the first. The third derivative is one. The fifth derivative is negative one. The seventh derivative 
is positive one. And let's finish this up. 20s just this sort of dopey stray problem. I mean, it's a problem on Lopetau's rule. I might cut this out and replace it with something else because you have to use Lopetau's rule a bunch in the series homework. This is indeterminate homework. I mean, the series test problems. This isn't indeterminate. One over infinity is zero.